Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. We're now going to be starting issue 15 of Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's Build the Ecto-1. That's going to start with stage 51. <laughs> Now, before we get into that, we've got to talk about the elephant in the room. Look at the display stand, and you know what? It doesn't matter what camera I put this on, it's just far too big to show you. So I've done this little cut just to give you some measurements of the stand. Now, this stand is bigger than you can possibly imagine. It's actually 952 millimeters wide, which is roughly 37.5 inches. The depth is 450 millimeters, which is 17.7 inches. And the height is 38 millimeters, which is roughly 1.5 inches. The border that goes round is 25 millimeters wide, which is just shy of an inch. And the actual depth that goes into the mirrored section is 10 millimeters. So it's roughly 0.39 inches. Now I'm gonna pick it up and you can see how big this thing actually is it's uh compared to me oh my god it's ginormous so that's one side uh, and the other side's mirrored uh, i'm going to keep it in the plastic because i'm not going to need this uh until the end of the build really uh the mirror has got some plastic on as well that you'd need to peel off uh so obviously it's got a real uh mirror effect underneath but wow that is ginormous and i just don't know how to display it for you but uh that's probably the last time you're going to see it before the end of the build so i'm going to put this away and uh, we'll come back and we'll look what we do get in pack 15. Okay, we're back. I've put my microphone back on. Uh, so issue 15, let's show you what we get. That's heavy. I'll tell you, I'm sweating when we had to pick that up. So basically, we have got um, some parts for the workstation. That's what we're going to be doing today. We've got this floor plan. I'm going to show you this in a minute. It's absolutely ginormous. That's issue 52. Uh, then we're going to be working on the um, parts for the simulation switch control panel and oscilloscope. And then the last thing we've got in this stage, you're going to receive parts for the BGM 340 guidance system, which looks just like that. Now, coming in the next episode, we've got all of these parts here. Haven't got a clue what they are, but there are a lot more details. There's another jump seat in there by the look of it. Uh, and we're going to be creating another seat there as well. So uh, that's what's coming. Let's just pull back just to show you what we're going to be doing today. As you can see, we're going to be working on the jump seed section that we have. And we're going to be starting to add some details for it. We are going to be trailing some cables through here. So uh, with some cable ties, uh, reminiscent of when we did the DeLorean issue 48, I think. But uh, I've got to show you what we're getting in each pack. So there we go. This is issue 51. As you can see, we've got the cables, we've got the cable ties, and we've got the details. So this is what we're going to be working on next. Now, issue 54... Again, we've got some, I'm not doing this in any order you've noticed. That looks just like that. There's some of the pieces. Then we've got issue 53, which looks just like that. And then I'm telling you, I've saved it till last. This is issue 52. <laughs> and now I'm gonna have to zoom that camera out a little bit. There we go. Uh, it's ginormous. Look at that floor pan. It looks just like that. It's absolutely massive. Look, there's my hands. <laughs> you can see how big it is. But wow, what a big piece. And that's going to be coming soon. Hopefully, uh, that'll probably start early next week and we'll get uh, this issue done. But uh, what a what an exciting day it has been today. And this came at 7 o'clock this morning. So once again, I'm running downstairs in my dressing gown to open the door and we get this massive box with the uh, stand. And then attached to the box, we get the box with issue 15 parts in. But... Uh, Let's get on with that. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the only part we're going to need for the previous stage is the workstation and the jump seat. I'm just going to put that to one side while we open this uh, bag up. Now, there is quite a few details in here. We have got cable ties as well, which are going to need to be trimmed down the, uh, later on as well. So we get this open. So the first parts we need are the sono chamber, looking just like that. And this is the base for the sono chamber. Now, if you look underneath, we have got a locating lug in there that's going to help us to put this on this position here where this is going to go now when we put it on we make want to make sure that the open end here is towards the edge we don't want that to be around this way i probably won't let you put that in anyway because the locating lug uh, once that's in we're going to secure it from the other side with bp screws now the only screws that come in this pack are bp screws so you're not going to get uh, confused but as i said we're going into plastic so i've got a bp screw here now these are actually screwed in through the top section here. So we put that through the top of the detail and tighten that up. It only needs to be hand tight. We don't need to go into plastic, so we don't want to over tighten this. And then we do the one on the other side here. 
just like that. Now we bring over the jump seat here and as you can see in the top here, we've got some holes at the top. Uh, the locating lug here is just gonna go into this one right here. So when we line it up, it should fit in just like that. And we're gonna be putting screws in here and here. Once again, these are BP screws that's gonna hold this into place. So here's the first one. Again, just hand tight. Don't make it too tight, otherwise you're gonna round the uh, thread here. Number two, there we go, that's nice and tight in place. The next detail we need is the switch panel. Large piece, this one looking just like that, that's gonna go into this area here. It can only go in one way, although we have got locating lugs on here. And then pretty much everywhere that you can see a hole on top there, we're gonna be putting a BP screw in. So uh, let's count how many we need. I think there's gonna be six. But uh, we'll see. So we've got the first one just over here. That's number one. Uh, we'll do the one on the other side here, just to keep that locked into place. So that's number two. Then we'll do the one underneath it, which will be number three. Then we've got three in the middle here. So, yep, there is six. So the... Other one holes that you can see, one, two, three, we don't put anything in at this stage. So we put the three in the middle, one. God, there's a lot of screwing in this one, isn't there? <laughs> the amount of screws we've had on this build so far, I'm surprised I haven't got carpal tunnel. Two, and lastly, here's number three. So that's six screws in total, all into place. Now we want to take two flex tubes. Now we've got quite a few flex tubes in this one. These are sort of like a medium size. Then we've got small ones. And then finally, we've got really long ones here. Now the ones we want first are the small ones, which are 51D. Okay, so the, when we're doing these, it's gonna be a little bit fiddly, but the first ones we need are the smaller of these flex cables. Now this is going in, you can see we've got three holes just down the side of the uh, workstation there. This is gonna go into the back hole first. So I'll put that in, push it down so it keeps itself in. The other side of this is gonna go into the middle hole just here. I think it might go into that one, I don't know, but the picture's pretty ambiguous, but I don't think it matters because there's a lot of uh, slack on each of these cables. And when we put them in, they're gonna be sort of tight to this anyway. So uh, it's gonna look okay once it's done anyway. So that, once that one's in, the second one here just goes into the silver hole that we can see in the corner there. So we push that in, nice and tight so it doesn't come out. The other side of this is just gonna go into the hole just behind the one we've put in there. So we'll put that in like this. Push it down, as I said, when we actually tidy this up, these wires are gonna look kind of like that when they go round it. So when we want to take the medium size flex cables, now these are textured, as you can see, I can run my finger over it, and uh, there is quite a nice texture on there. Uh, we're going to put one side into the second hole that we can see down here. So I'll put that in just like that. And the first one is going to go into the hole that you can see just on the black section of the workstation there. So I'll put that one in there. Just like that. We take the second lead and once again, that's gonna go from this side with the last hole that we can see down there. And then that's gonna go into the hole just underneath this one on the workstation over here. And then we need to take the really long ones, looking just like this. These are ginormous, these are. And these are gonna go into the two holes we've got left on this side, just underneath these wires here. And these are gonna basically just go around here. They don't plug into anywhere else, but we are gonna be feeding them in afterwards. And we'll do the same with the one underneath it as well. Which are eventually gonna go over this side over here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna trowel all of these cables together so they're all going behind this section here. And for that, they've gave us some cable ties. So what you wanna do when you shape these is keep all the parts together where you want them, 
put the first cable tie on and just put it on loose to start off with just like this then you want to put it exactly where you want it now they've got it going sort of halfway into this section here I don't want to pull any of those wires out but I'm happy where I've got it there I think so we're tighten that up I'm going to rotate it round so when I cut it off the uh, the bulky section of the cable tie is not showing there but I think that's perfect where it is just there do the other side here now obviously these long ones do want to come round this side before going to the front there so I'm going to lay these flat exactly again as we're going to need it now they put the second cable tie around about here I'm just putting everything together and we'll put the next cable tie in now I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you see the modding community do something else rather than use cable ties for this so uh, I think it's a watch this space for that but I'm doing exactly like the instructions say this is really quite fiddly this section I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> it's gonna plug in these leads that have just fallen out on the side here that's one you might need tweezers just to help you uh, push these into the holes they go in and I suppose you could glue them in as well I haven't done that now if I was just to leave that as you can see it just bounces up on its own like that so what I think I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit of glue just to keep that flush to that edge there doesn't tell you to do this so uh, this is just me uh, making the model look how I want it to look <laughs> so I'm gonna put some glue just down here just to put the first set of pipes in and hold them into place just so it looks neater and there we go that looks hell of a lot tidier and that's pretty much all there is to do in that stage the only thing I'm gonna do get me uh, sprue cutters here I'm just going to cut the uh, ends off the cable ties here. One, two, and there we go. That was fiddly, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Just to show you what it looks like from the other side there as well. So there you go. That was stage 51 done. A lot fiddly. Very reminiscent of issue 48 of the DeLorean, I have to say that was. Uh, but in issue 52, we're going to be doing the cargo area floor. And you saw how big that one is. Uh, not much to do in that issue, to be honest with you. But I think the sheer size of it is going to make it a good video. Uh, if you want to get this for yourself all the way from pack one or issue one, just head on over to the links here. Uh, it just tells you that it's come from the World of Wayne website. But if you're in the US, follow the US link. And if you're in the UK, follow the UK link. You can get this for yourself with a display stand and how it's looking on the shelf up there but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care